Hey guys, Lawrence here, and the topic of today's video concerns the idea that most people out there, including yourselves, have a story to tell. And what I mean in terms of the story is that there's an idea somewhere in your mind that you can't shake. You feel like it needs to be expressed in some way, but you're not quite sure how. There is an old saying that says, everybody has a novel inside of them, and I think I know what mine is. I've tried many different ways to bring it to the people, but they've all kind of either fallen flat or they've just kind of just faded away, just either due to time or just something like that. Back in the day when I was just a teenager, I was wanting to make films because as you may know, my grandfather was an editor in Wardour Street, London back in the 1940s. There was that itch there to try and be creative. And luckily, my dad had purchased a very, very expensive editing suite with Final Cut Pro 1.0 on it, the original Final Cut Pro. I spent my months learning how to use that software and I was able to get somewhat good at it. It was very, very basic, but it was also very professional for the time. So I used this time to try and make short films with some of my friends. Um, I made one that was a little bit of a kind of an assassin type thing, that I remember was inspired by an episode of Batman Beyond. Uh, that didn't really get anywhere. I, I submitted it to a film festival. It was unsuccessful at that time. But then next year, I did some kind of sci-fi thriller mystery type thing and it did get through. Now, anyone out there who might not recognize what this is, this is a VHS. I don't mean to be patronizing, but I really need to because I remember seeing a documentary for children who didn't know what a cassette tape was. This is a thing called the Nomad. This was my idea when I was 15 years old to create some kind of time space pirate type thing. And I'll read the back of the box to you now. It reads like a bad fan fiction, at least in my eyes. Helvidius is a time nomad who travels through time to eradicate evil from time and space. When his best friend Tiberius is killed by Alarantor, Helvidius fights Alarantor to the death and will prove once and for all which is the strongest, good or evil. 252 seconds, the theme, mystical action thriller. In any case, I thought this was so great and the fact that it succeeded in getting to a film festival, I submitted it to the library at my old school and yeah, it was only rented out once and knowing me, it was probably myself. And I just took this and they didn't even bother to check whether I had it. Just showed how much the library cared. This story was just one of those things where I thought about it, it was a nice little thing. It got somewhat successful. I was really pleased to be able to travel up to Bradford for the film festival to talk about it and see it on a big screen. And then I just kind of sat on it until I found the voice acting alliance. I then decided to retool it and create a six part audio drama, which was also called The Nomad. And I managed to recruit a lot of actors who have now gone on to do professional things. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really make the entire series. I think I got about halfway through the fifth episode and I kind of stopped there. I think just the passion for it just disappeared. But it was one of those stories it would endure despite the fact I was just starting to really suffer from apathy back then. So unfortunately I had to take a back seat, but I did love making that story and I wish I still had the script somewhere. I, I'm gonna try my best to look through my old hard drives and see whether I can find them. If I do, maybe we could do like an old read through. That might be quite fun. But a lot of people in the voice acting alliance really, really dug the script. They thought it was a classic and a lot of the old people who were really cynical, they adored it. They thought it was great. And that really gave me hope that hey, maybe this story had legs. So maybe it would just have to be reincarnated some way and I'd be able to kind of give it justice. And I hope that one day you guys get to be able to give justice to your own ideas. Let me know down in the comments if you have one of those things. Now the most likely incarnation that people that follow my stuff will remember is something called Project Jikoku. And Project Jikoku is basically the same thing, only I felt like the need to put a Japanese name in the title. Jikoku being Japanese for time. I was able to work with my friend Dornry on this one and we got somewhere into chapter two, but unfortunately due to time and the fact, you know, she was getting married, it meant that time really kind of just slipped away from us. It was the same idea I had that Helvidius and now with a twin sister Isoria had lost their father many years ago and they were trying to find out whether he was still alive or not. They luckily find out that he is, and now they've got to travel through different points in the galaxy and the universe to try and figure out the clues where they'd be able to find him. It's kind of like a journey of self-discovery, as it were. 
just with really brightly coloured characters, as well as an impish little bandit named Tuna, who I think would be totally the series mascot. Really just thinking Ed from Cowboy Bebop in a way. I even tried to make merch for it because this time I did have some money to be able to share it with the world. It did get some interest. I have pins, I still have postcards, I still have a lot of stuff from it. And we had a lot of fun making it. I'm trying to use some of the elements that I made from Jikoku and the Nomad in some of my playthroughs. In a potential Loading Crew um, Kingmaker series I'm making, I'm going to be using Isoria for that. I used Tuna for a brief playthrough through Monster Hunter World because I thought that's the kind of thing she'd do. It's just, I want to be able to use those characters because I love those characters. I still remember them. And I really want to find a way to be able to bring them to life in a really justifiable manner. I, I do think sometimes about doing a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter, but I'm not sure what medium would be the best. Whether to do a proper graphic novel and actually hire an artist to do this full time. Maybe just as another audio drama, but someone else produce it. But I script it. I don't know. Let me down down in the comments what kind of way you'd want to see it. I want to share this idea and I'm sure that, again, you have ideas that you want to share. It's just this little itch that won't go away. Now that I've managed to gain some experience with R&R, &R, that was one of the basic ideas I came up with that project in the first place, to be able to test out original writing, not just comedy, but also a little bit of drama and tragedy and just basic slice of life. Now that I can incorporate the things I've learned from that, into Jokoku or whatever I choose to rename it, maybe I just rename it The Nomad again, I don't know. There's hope and passion for this project that I really want to share with the world. I thought I'd just share this little blast from the past to get an idea about what Teenage Masako was like before the abridged series, when I was just trying to figure out what am I going to do in this life, because back then I hadn't got a clue. And until next time guys, take it easy, and once again, one is glad to be of service.